lot of people in this world search endlessly for some complex, magical formula to understand why some people are successful and why others are not. But it really just boils down to this concept of productivity. That you're going to apply the most amount of effort to the best of your ability in the allotted time that you have. And all successful people realize that time is the most precious commodity that's out there. It's the one thing that you can't buy or ever buy back. So these successful people realize that they have an allotted time to perform a given task so that they have to give it their absolute all to doing that task. Because going through the motions is the most disadvantageous thing that you could do. That often when you do something wrong the first time, you have to go back and do it right the second time. Whereas if you did it right the first time, you never have to do it again. And all successful people realize that. That they're going to give it their absolute all and put in their heart and soul to any task that they do, no matter how small or how large it is. That they're going to be the best person that they could be while they're doing it. That they're going to do it right. And the major difference is that the successful people do every single task right, whereas the people who are not successful do it wrong. You know, you could look at these professional bodybuilders. Jay Cutler. Ronnie Coleman. Dexter Jackson. Flex Wheeler. Sean Ray. Dorian Yates. Arnold Schwarzenegger. These guys are the best in their sport. And a lot of people just disregard it as they had the genetics to be there or they'll play the steroid card and say that they cheated to get to where they were. But what a lot of people don't realize is that these people gave it their heart and their soul throughout every single rep, throughout every single set, throughout every single gym session, every single day, for weeks, for months, for years, for decades, to get to where they were. That they weren't just going to go through the motions, but they were going to break through all mental barriers to get to where they wanted to be. And that's the difference between the successful people from those who are not. You know, a lot of people think that what they do in life is beneficial and then they get frustrated when they don't see the results that they want, that other people are getting. You know, you could say to yourself, oh, I went to the gym today, so I'm better off because of it. But the question you have to ask yourself is, what did I do in the gym today? You know, what did you do in the gym today, and how did you do it? You could complain that you can't build up your calf muscles, or you can't get a nice set of abs, or you can't burn fat, or you can't build muscle, and it's your genetics that is preventing you from getting it. But it's really not about the genetics as much as it is about the effort and about doing the activity right. And this transfers throughout all facets of life, whether it is working on your schoolwork or whether it is working on that business proposal at your job, you know, or it's even the small things in life, like cleaning dishes or cleaning the house, because if you can't clean the house right, 
how are you expected to run a Fortune 500 company right? And all successful people understand that. That they're going to give it their all throughout every single task that they have to do. Because time is so precious. And that they're going to do it right. So I hope you understand this concept of productivity a little bit better. And you need to ask yourself, what are you going to do today? But more importantly, you need to ask yourself, how are you going to do it?